Daily driving, Zorin OS 18 versus Linux Mint 22.2. Tired of distro indecision? If you want a polished, Windows-like experience with modern GNOME polish and a focus on newcomers, Zorin OS 18 is a compelling pick. If you want a rock-solid, familiar, highly tweakable desktop that runs well on older hardware and prioritizes practical conveniences, Linux Mint 22.2 Zara is still the pragmatic daily driver many people prefer. Zorin OS 18 launched October 2025 and is supported through 2029. Linux Mint 22.2 is a 2025 LTS point release with support through 2029. Why this matters. Everyday computing is about friction. Installs that don't break, updates that don't surprise you, and a desktop that helps you get work done. Today we compare Zorin OS 18 and Linux Mint 22.2 across the things you actually notice every day. Installation, feel, performance, hardware friendliness, software availability, gaming and media, and long-term maintenance. So you can pick the OS that makes your life easier. Quick context and life cycles. Important facts up front. Zorin OS 18 is Zorin's newest major release and was positioned as a friendly migration path for Windows users. It ships with a heavily customized GNOME experience and is based on Ubuntu 24.04 LTS lineage and modern kernels. Zorin promises long-term support through 2029. Linux Mint 22.2, codename Zara, is a point release on the Mint 22 series, an LTS family and brings incremental but practical improvements, native fingerprint support, UI tweaks and app updates, and is supported through 2029 as part of the Mint 22 LTS line. It ships in Cinnamon, Mott, and XFCE editions. Out-of-the-box experience, installation, and first impressions. Zorin. Polished, modern, and opinionated. The Zorin Appearance app makes it very simple to switch layouts, Windows-like, macOS-like, etc. And the default theming and desktop behavior are tuned to be familiar to people coming from Windows. The installer and first boot feel are aimed at getting non-technical users comfortable quickly. Mint. Pragmatic, predictable, and familiar. The Cinnamon Edition gives a classic desktop layout, start menu, panel, system tray that many people already know. Mint's installer is straightforward and the out-of-the-box app selection favors stability and everyday tasks rather than flashy UI gambits. The Mint team focuses on polish where it matters. System settings, update manager, and utilities like sticky notes and the software manager. Which wins here? If you want a modern curated visual experience that looks and feels new, Zorin. If you want immediate familiarity and minimal surprises, Mint. Desktop environments and day-to-day -day usability. Zorin OS 18 uses a customized GNOME experience, GNOME Shell plus Zorin Tweaks. GNOME's productivity features, workspaces, integrated search, modern window management, are great if you like keyboard-driven workflows and a modern app ecosystem. Linux Mint's flagship Cinnamon Desktop favors a traditional desktop metaphor with lots of UI affordances for mouse users and a tighter menu slash panel workflow. A practical point, GNOME builds often carry a heavier visual and compositing load than some lighter desktops. Across many community comparisons, GNOME slash modern shells typically sit higher in RAM usage than lighter desktops like XFCE. And in many tests, Cinnamon sits between ultralight DEs and GNOME in resource use. That means on lower RAM machines, Cinnamon will often feel snappier out of the box. Results vary by hardware and GPU driver. Performance. Daily tasks, browser, and light editing. Browsing slash web apps. Both distros will be dominated by the browser's memory hunger long before the desktop becomes the bottleneck. On modern machines, both feel snappy. On older hardware, Mint Cinnamon generally uses a bit less memory. Office and light media editing. Both can handle LibreOffice, GIMP, Kdenlive, etc. 
Zorin's gnome based layout can be slightly more opinionated about window tile behavior. Mint is more classical and predictable for multi window workflows. Boot and resume. Both use similar systemd based boot flows. Differences will be driven by enabled services and hardware. Mint's reputation for conservative defaults means fewer background surprises for non expert users. Hardware compatibility and drivers. Zorin emphasizes driver support and includes newer kernels and backported drivers in recent releases to help get modern hardware working out of the box. Part of its pitch to window switchers. Mint likewise supports modern hardware and keeps compatibility conservative to avoid regressions. And Mint 22.2 includes several refinements. Ejevil native fingerprint support tooling that improve real-world usability on laptops. If you have very new hardware, Zorin's fresher kernel stack can be an advantage. If your priority is stable, well-tested drivers on an LTS base, Mint is very safe. Software availability and package management. Both are Ubuntu-based ecosystems, so the same pool of packages is reachable, but they package and present software differently. Mint's software manager is conservative and curated. Zorin leans into GNOME-style stores and some bundled conveniences. For gamers, both work well with Steam plus Proton. For Windows apps, Wine and Lutris behave similarly on either distro because the underlying libraries are the same. Gaming, multimedia, and specialized workflows. Gaming. Steam plus Proton works on both. If you want bleeding edge GPU driver updates for very new games, distributions that ship newer kernels slash drivers or that make them easy to install will be helpful. Zorin's recent release targets that space explicitly. Multimedia creation. Both can be configured for production work. Choice comes down to workflow and personal tooling. Mint's lighter defaults sometimes leave more free RAM for heavy editing tasks on mid-range hardware. Security, updates, and maintenance. Both are LTS-based and receive security updates until 2029 for the 2025 era releases you're comparing. Mint stays conservative with updates and provides a user-friendly update manager. Zorin packages newer stacks but still tracks Ubuntu LTS. If you prefer conservative set and forget updates, Mint's approach will feel safer. Community and support. Mint has a long established community and a huge base of tutorials and forum posts for Cinnamon workflows. Zorin's community is growing quickly. The project intentionally targets Windows migrants and has been ramping up documentation and outreach. Both have active forums and third party tutorials. Mint's community tends to skew toward long term Linux desktop users while Zorin attracts many first-time switchers. Verdict and recommendations. Choose Zorin OS 18 if you want a polished, modern desktop that reduces friction for Windows users, you like GNOME's workflows, or you have relatively modern hardware where the visual polish is appreciated. Zorin explicitly targets migrations from Windows and ships newer kernels and UI refinements to match that goal. Choose Linux Mint 22.2 if you want a conservative, predictable daily driver that is easy to tweak, works well on older machines, and minimizes surprises during updates. Mint's Cinnamon Edition is a great balance of familiarity and efficiency. If you want a modern, Windows-friendly desktop, try Zorin 18. If you want dependable, tweakable, and lightweight for daily work, try Linux Mint 22.2. Either way, you'll get a solid Linux experience. Pick the one that reduces friction for you. Thanks for watching, and I will see you in tomorrow video. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe for daily videos. Bye.